Hello class. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to complete the uh, equity section of a balance sheet uh, using uh, what we have learned from um, changes to equity, changes that can come from uh, different things such as investments, uh, drawings by the owner, or um, net income and net loss. So just to kind of re-familiarize your ourselves with the uh, basic process, um, <coughs> In terms of, and this is kind of customized a little bit uh, to fit the um, the layout of the uh, equity section. So the basic formula is that we always start with that opening equity, whatever it was at the beginning of our fiscal period. Uh, that is kind of our base number. If we have any um, additional uh, investments, we're going to add those on. Then we're going to do one of two things. We cannot do both of these. We can only do one of these two things. If we had net income for the year, we will add it. If we had a net loss for the year, we will subtract it. We can't do both. Then the last thing we're going to do is um, subtract any drawings, if there were any. Now, the difference here is that with income or loss, you can only have one or the other. But with uh, additional investments or drawings, you can have both of those. So <clears throat> it's important to keep track of um, kind of what we're doing. All right. So um, this is uh, an example from your textbook. Um, it's not exactly a carbon copy. I've, I've changed it a little bit um, to give you kind of a different uh, scenario uh, in terms of what's going on with um, withdrawals and, and investment. But basically referring to 155 in your textbook, this is where you can find the basic um, information. So we have Eve Boat LLB, she's a lawyer, and this is her um, balance sheet for the period ending January 31st, 2016. All right, so um, this layout is a little bit different. It's a three column layout. And um, so basically we're doing kind of the same thing that we've done with, um, with the income statement. So we have our list column, we have our totals column, here we're going to do some side work in this, this first column. So if we have to do like any um, subtraction work, it's going to go in that column there. Now over here on the right, we have our basic information. We have um, our opening equity. We have our opening equity of 21878 We have um, our net income as of uh, for the fiscal period. We have an additional investment and then we have um, some drawings. So then what we're gonna do then is we're gonna kind of fit that into um, this uh, box here. All right, now one thing that's really important to notice is that our period ends on um, January 31st, 2016. So it's going to be important to make sure that we have the correct dates going on here. Now, this example is for um, for the month. And so what's gonna happen then is um, our, our calculations are actually going to begin um, at the beginning of this month. And then uh, we will um, have showing or show the final balance for the end of the month. Now, normally you wouldn't do this kind of on a monthly basis. I mean, with computers we can do it but normally this would be for a period, for a year. So it would actually go from February 1st, um, 2015 uh, until January 31st, 2016. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, so we have our, um, our owner's equity section here at the bottom. We're going to list, um, first of all, the owner that's involved. And we can actually have several owners. Um, in this case, it's the sole ownership. So um, we just have the one person, but if it was a partnership, you would actually have three or four, or like one for each partner, kind of listed one section for each partner. All right, so um, we're gonna list the name of the partner first, and we are gonna list our balance, our opening balance, which um, was on January 1st. We don't need to put in a year um, because we're, we have the year at the top of the document. We're gonna go over to the middle column and because we're listing here at this point. So we have an additional, or sorry, an opening equity of 21,878. I'm gonna put that there. The next thing is, um, per our sort of formula or process, we're going to add 
um, our, our additional investment. So we're going to do plus. So we actually put right in there what math function we're going to do um, and type in the words additional investment to show what the owner has put in. And that is um, $3,000 as per over here. We have our additional investment over there, just so you know where that's coming from. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to list our net income in this case because we have a net income. So we're kind of summing up or totaling all the things that um, add up to uh, are going to add up, uh, to our increase in capital. So we have our net income, <coughs> which is uh, in this case 8209. Now, before we can go any further, we have to um, figure out. Um, oh, sorry, we have to figure out. We're gonna what we're gonna do actually. Rather than put that net income there, we're gonna subtract off our um, drawings from that net income first. Um, so we're gonna go to our our first column there, our side work column. We've got to put in our net income. And the next thing we're gonna do is type in less because we're subtracting. Um, and then our drawings. In this case, our drawings were 3,950. It's a minus, a subtraction, so we're going to put in minus 3,950. And then before we go on to um, uh, work at our total income or our total increase in capital, we're going to subtract that off. Now, again, this takes a little bit of evaluation. We have to recognize here that we have a net income greater than our drawing. So the answer is going to be a positive. So we're going to put it into our middle column over there. That is called the increase to capital. Our increase in capital, <clears throat> and so we're going to uh, using Excel. We're going to um, we're going to um, use a math function to, to so we're going to sum them because the 3950 is already a minus. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Sorry, folks. So we're going to do our equals sum here, and then we're going to uh, add up those two columns. There we go. So now we have, um, so since we've done a, um, some math here, we need to put in some underlines. So um, I'm going to put in an underline there, and then I'm about to do some under math here, so I'm going to put an underline here as well um, to show that we're done, we've done this. The last thing we're going to do then is to show the balance um, as of the end of the month. So we're taking our opening balance, we're adding in our additional investment, and we're adding in the net income less the drawings from here. So we're going to do a, a sum of these three numbers, and we're going to put it into this box here. So, um, and to show that this is part of the formatting process of this is we're going to indent um, our title here. So we're going to do three, four, five. Balance, <clears throat> excuse me, um, January 31st, 31. There we go. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do equals sum. And then I'm going to go over to my column of list, my list column here. And then the last thing we're going to do is um, to show our, that we're completely balanced for our, um, according to our assets and liabilities. Or an owner's equity, uh, we're going to put in the last um, title. So total liabilities and owner's equity. There we go. I got a little bit, got a little bit of space. And so then here again, I'm going to do my equal sum, and then I'm going to arrow up, close my brackets. And 35677, so I'm balanced. Excellent. So since I've done some um, math here, I'm going to underline that box. And since um, I'm using Excel in this example, so I can double underline my final total. 
making sure that it's balanced if you're using Google Sheets, just as long as it's got one, one underline under it, that's fine. And so there you have how to complete um, an owner's equity section with both uh, uh, an additional investment and drawings and a net income. The layout is slightly different for different scenarios. So for instance, if you had uh, net loss, it would be a little bit different. So make sure that you um, have a look at the different um, layouts. So please uh, complete this uh, spreadsheet for yourself and then um, submit it to the Dropbox provided.